There's fresh hope for a thaw in the frosty relationship with Beijing heading into the new year. Live to political reporter Trudy McIntosh. Trudy, good morning. China says the ball is in Australia's court. Yeah, a potential olive branch of sorts being extended here, Danica, by China's foreign minister. And a cautious optimism, really, that this could mark a potential thawing in the really frosty relationship with China, which only continues to deteriorate. These were comments made by Wang Yi at a foreign policy think tank being hosted by the former Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd. But it wasn't the public remarks, instead a private session that occurred after that have now been made public by nine newspapers. Mr. Wang in these comments suggesting that if Australia viewed China instead of a, a threat in, as a partner, then there could be an avenue to try and fix this relationship. He says, quote, that, so I would kick the ball to Australia. We hope that that relationship can come back to the right track as early as possible and we would welcome efforts by all those who want the relations to improve to make some efforts. But it remains incredibly unclear what those efforts might need to be. We know that for months now that the Australian Prime Minister has been saying he'd be open to dialogue with his Chinese counterpart, but to no avail. And an incredible scepticism too, it must be said, amongst security experts here in Australia, Peter Jennings amongst others, arguing that the too much emphasis is being placed on Australia to change its policy positions to Nika, while China wants to maintain the status quo. Trudy, thank you.